I started this channel because I realized I've never met another sailor familiar with sheet to tiller sail steering. So I'm going to share my skill as I sail across the PAM to the Outer Banks of North Carolina, my home state. Okay, so I'm out here sailing across the Pamlico Sound. It's foggy as hell. Somewhere way back there is my buddy. By about 9 a.m., we were underway and my daughter was still asleep in her bunk down below, but I had already set up the sheet to tiller self-steering. And that had freed up my hands so that I could organize the boat a little bit, adjust the dinghy painter lines, make myself some food, put some things away, use the bathroom. Okay, so we're on a downwind run. And I have the self-steering set up. My Magnus hitch was slipping, so I actually did a real rolling hitch. Then, I went across cabin to a block, to another block, to another block, and then back to the tiller. The elastic is to the lee side. I've got this sweet cleat, and I can adjust. If I need to make a slight adjustment, like my compass, Right now it's at say 170. If I wanted it to be like 165, I could make an incremental adjustment with this right here. This is only one of the ways to adjust it, would be to tighten it or loosen it. The same thing with my sheet. You can see it working. It just luffed and now it's pulling on the line. You see it in here? That rope's gonna move. Tiller's gonna move. She carefully adjusts herself keeping her on the compass heading I programmed her for it's not quite like a computer where you can just plug it in you've got to dial it in and once you get it in you're home free I already made myself a cup of coffee and drank it and Chris is gaining on me. Juliet is fast. He's got his boom way out there. Eventually, Juliet passed us, and I knew that if I was going to try to keep up with him, I was going to have to raise my Genoa. So I decided to heave to, lower my jib, and raise the Genoa. And I think it was worth all that time. Here you can see my sheet to tiller line is attached to the Genoa sheet. And then it runs to the windward side through a windward block on the gunnel to the tiller. And then the elastic is attached to the tiller to the leeward side. And the leeward side is the same side that the sail is on. Alex 
Pussy got them them for yourself We started treating and reading Every treat us on the shelf There would have been nothing left to do For someone less to steal He would have been dead or distant too Without a sense of restitution Started working Clerking for his late mother's land All trading sugar cane and rum And all the things he can't afford Scamming for every book he can get his hands on Planning for the future See him now as he stands on the bow of a ship Headed for a new land New York, you can be a new man. New York, you can be away. New York, you, you can, can be a new man. New York, you can be a new man. New way. New York, New York, the new way. Alexander Hamilton, Alexander Hamilton, America sings for you. Check it out right here. You can see the tiller being tugged back and forth by the sheet to tiller line and the elastic. And you can see it really clearly right here in this shot. When the wind pulls on the sail, the sail then tugs on the sheet to tiller line, which is attached to the jib sheet, and then it goes across the cabin to the windward block and then back to the tiller and then it pulls the tiller to the windward side then when the sail luffs the elastic pulls the sail to the leeward side this is what keeps the boat balanced on its course here you can see the sheet to tiller line going diagonally across the cockpit that might seem like it's in the way but it's actually really convenient because this allows you to grab the sheet to tiller line at any point you can pull it and control the tiller so if you were standing up on deck right here and you saw a crab pot you could grab that sheet to tiller line there by the winch and steer the boat around the crab pot I'm watching these boaters anchor. Look, they're coming out of the woodworks. There's three boaters trying to anchor in the middle of the storm now. I think one of them is the one that drug anchor earlier and someone had to salvage their boat. And here comes a small little catch, too.
I think I'm going to do this all the time. Okay, so let's talk about what my self-steering setup is doing right now. Up ahead, you can see that I am going downwind. I'm using the big Genoa and my main. And if you see here, I've got all my funky. I've got my boom tent hanging underneath my, my, uh, my main. I've just tied it to my reefing lines and then to my boom vang underneath here with a bunch of quick release slip knots so I could release it really quickly if I need to. There's my buddy Steve back there on his new San Juan 21. He is going wing on wing. So I just had a little lunch. The self steering has been going like this for a while now. It's very well dialed into this course of 350. I've attached my sheet to tiller line, which is 20 feet long, with a rolling hitch, actually what I call a Magnus hitch. And if you look closely at it, this is it. It just goes over and then back around one other time, over the top and then back through. That's the Magnus hitch. It works like a rolling hitch. You can slide it up and down. And the nice thing about the Magnus hitch as opposed to the rolling hitch is you can tighten it like this onto the rope uh, whereas the rolling hitch is a little awkward because it goes this way so I use the Magnus hitch tied to the jib sheet I just go across the deck diagonally I don't care it's in the way it's nice because I can always grab this line if I see like an obstacle I'll be like oh well let's move this boat you know and, and I can totally steer around it just by grabbing the sheet to tiller line so that's an awesome reason to have it going right across the deck here. And it goes right underneath my, this is my wind scoop that I made. It's just a five pointed wind scoop. And that's my little metal clip that attaches to the jib halyard and forestay actually. But this time I have it just tied to a cleat on the gunnel. And I have it tied to the lazy jacks and to this boom tent, to the end of this boom tent, the little slip knots. My sheet to tiller line clears it, goes underneath it with no friction in the way to the windward block and then comes back. And you can see I've got this crazy mess. Now I know a lot of you hate my crazy mess, uh, but this is how I tie off. I don't mind. Maybe some people like to have some cleats underneath or maybe just horn cleats on the side or jam cleats on the bottom and two different sets in different directions. I've seen that. But this is how I do it. I've got my elastic here with two loops and you can see what I've got going on. 
if I undo it. I put my two loops of elastic through. It goes through the lee block, and then I fashion this small horn cleat right here to tie off to all the time. I tie, to all, I tie all kinds of things to that. My bimini or just whatever. Sometimes it just surprises me how many different applications for fenders. I can hang fenders from those. So I'm just sort of holding it on course right now and I'm kind of crossing Steve's. Steve's crossing my wake actually. Uh, but here is how I would tie it. I go over the rubber one time. The second time when I come around, I want to overlap uh, my sheet to tiller line. And then I go one around one more time. So that's kind of like three wraps. Then I'm, I simply bring it up and around the inner triangle here, whichever side it's on. I like to give it a twist and then snug it up. Now it's good doesn't come off it stays right there I don't mind it that's the way I tie it I'm not gonna touch it for another couple hours if I like my course so the next thing now that I've adjusted my course I look at my compass and I make sure that it's dialed into the course heading that I want and if I don't like it I'm gonna make an adjustment there's a ship out here somewhere uh, shipwreck uh, it's off to uh, the side. I'm just going to hope it's not really anything to worry about. It's a beautiful day, but it's light wind. We're getting beat up. So we've rigged up these sunshades. Look, Steve's got his own thing going on with some red sheet. It looks magnificent. I'm loving this. I just tied like these strings that came off my wind scoop to different things. I'm feeling great. It's nice and cool inside here. Now I forgot my charts on this trip, so I'm glad I do have a GPS. I usually do charts, but I still had my Florida charts aboard. And I forgot that that's not my North Carolina set. So Today it's all GPS, but I've done this trip probably 20, 30 times now. Remember dash, remember dash, this is anonymous, over. This is Rainbow Dash, come in anonymous. So I've got this sheet tied up behind me and providing just enough shade and I am getting such a breeze now through the cockpit uh, off of my uh, windward side and yeah it's just good flowing I'm doing like over three knots I think now three and a half yeah we're cooking the wind's kind of picking up nice nice over it is pretty good out here I'm very happy uh, we're, I guess we're going to be getting close to our big jibe up here soon but We'll have to change everything over probably, but I'm gonna ride it out a little bit longer. Roger that. Uh, yeah, I also might go wing on wing a little bit also. I found it a little bit hard to control. Uh, so, over. Roger that. Uh, wing on wing is really nice if you hook up a preventer line. Look at those pelicans crossing your bow. Um, wow. Absolutely gorgeous day. So glad we got these sunshades going. Woo! Okay, so I'm going to give you a little tour of my setup. Um, this is it. It's lines everywhere, isn't it? Total mess. But let's see how this wind scoop attaches. And there's so many entrances and exits here. It's really great because you can go up in between the wind scoop and the uh, boom tent and see the sail. I'm like, oh, it looks great. I can make an adjustment if I want to. I can see what the shape looks like. I can let it go. Then I come in here, 
Now I'm out at the back corner of the boat. Stand back and look at everything. So yeah, I've got a bunch of crazy stuff all over this boat to keep me shaded. But look, I still have mobility, you know? I can just walk right through here. I can hold on to the bimini and stuff while I move around. Get up to the deck. Oh, it's amazing. This is nice to be sailing across and be able to take a break. I'm all by myself. My, my daughter's asleep down below. But to just be able to walk around your boat, it's wonderful. I have all the weight on this side of the boat and I think that's really been helping. I put the coolers on the port side. Yeah. Okay, so I just jibed, I took down the wind scoop, and now it looks like we got a pretty good course. I'm happy with it. Might get a little shallow, I don't care. I'm dealing with it. So the first thing I have to do is get my 20 foot sheet to tiller line. I have to switch this. So like you would untie it from say, you know, that side over there. And then you're gonna retie it. Here's how I tie it. I stick it through here. I leave about four or five inches. And then I tie it. Boom, now it's done. Now you take one of these and connect it. Maybe let's do two. Winds are picking up. It's a little stronger. So now I head up or head down, dead downwind. I like this. This isn't bad. I think I gotta tighten that up a hair. This seems decent. Right. Here would be awesome. I'm gonna go with 280. We're gonna maintain 280 for a while. So now I take my sheet to tiller line, just on the ground here. And I've gotta tie it to that sheet. Now it's kinda hard but I do have this tiller extension. I'm gonna try to get it to hold things for a minute. All right, see how that is? So now I'm gonna go over here and I can do my rolling hitch. One time over, two times over, back to the stern. Then cross forward over the main line in and back like this. That is the Magnus hitch. The nice thing about it is you can tie it up. You can tighten it just like this. It's a little harder with the rolling hitch. I think this works better. But you have to have this bitter end pointed towards the jib clue. And then snug it all the way up there. Now that's connected. Next step is to run it across the cabin to a windward block in the cockpit area. And it can go right across the cockpit that's perfect. And now I go for my tie. I'm gonna assume that I'm gonna get it on course. I think there is good. That's like just a quick, hardly any calculation. Boom, I'm tied in. Let's see what it does. Corner's a little high on my boom tent. I think we can slide this hitch down, try to create more of a shady spot. <clears throat> so 
I can reset up my shady spot. I think that's what I'm gonna do because I like this. This seems perfect on the GPS. The course heading is 280 was what I was aiming for, 280. Now this system only works if you have a tiller. If you're watching this and you haven't figured that out yet, this doesn't work with a wheel. It's called sheet to tiller. That's exactly what we have here. The sheet is led through a block to the tiller. When you're going downwind, you're going to attach to the jib sheet, the foresail, whatever it is, whatever kind of foresail it is. When you're going upwind, close hauled, you're gonna wanna attach to the inner triangle or your inner strand of a block and tackle setup with a rolling hitch, the same system, to the windward block and then back to your tiller, tied off with your elastic going to the lee side. Heading upwind or anything to beam, main sheet. Heading downwind up to uh, anything on the beam, use your foresail. Okay, I like what's going on with the uh, boom tent and I like my point of sail. The sail steering is doing great. So I am going to now get the sunshade going again. Okay, so I've got a salad. I made it with all of my salad ingredients that I prepared at the beginning of the trip. They're still here. I've used it one other time. And I keep this Rubbermaid container right on top of this other Rubbermaid container which is in here and if you look it's full of water right now but there's a little chunk of ice this is day five so I think it's doing good it still feels icy cold in here so I'm gonna put this stuff right back in here it's still cooling the beer's still cold and I'm really stoked about that Now I'm gonna have my salad, which I'm also stoked about. This is an incredible day. I cannot even believe how awesome it is. It's just perfect weather. And this sunshade improvement, this is just unbelievable. I'm so happy. The wind that I'm getting coming in through this vent, which is the Bimini, the boom tent, is unbelievable. I am thoroughly cooled off down here, just hanging out, having a wonderful time. Can't believe how awesome this is.